I got an air conditioner. Let's make it solar. I just cleaned off all the panels, so looking good. Alright, check this out. These are our step down converters. Each one of these is a 300 watt step down converter. They can handle 20 amps, as it says right there. And they're DC to DC. So we've got a weird voltage, which is 29.5 volts from the panels. And for the inverter, we need to turn it to 12 volts. So that's what these are gonna do. Problem is, I can't just use one, I have to use three. So, let's get wiring. So for the wires, we're gonna be using three different wires. We're gonna be twisting them together, and that will go into one of the conductors. And each one will go like this. All right, done. We got two input wires, two output wires. Very nice. So the way I connected up all the panels is I just got some cheap 8 gauge wire and I twisted them onto each other and then if you see over here, again twisted onto the other conductor and then I stripped the wire here and just wrapped it around the wire because I don't want to have to use multiple pieces of wire and I also want to ruin this wire because I don't want to buy more. And before you claim that this is dangerous and will catch fire, this is literally wet grass and even if this whole thing were to catch fire, I might get a little bit of dark spots on the lawn, so chill out. Let's see how much power we have. Oh, that's almost nothing. Let me measure it with my tongue. <laughs> All right, let's connect up the positive. And the negative. I hope they turn on. Yep, all good. Let's see if we got good output voltage. Yeah, looks good. Okay, let's connect up to the inverter. Let's see if it turns on. That's not good. I think I overvolted it. 20 volts. Okay. Yeah, I need to turn it down a bit. So I set the right voltage, 13.6 volts, and it does turn on. But as you can see, it cuts out. So our AC right here is drawing too much power. The starting current of the inverter is too much for the panels to handle, so I'm going to add five more. All the solar panels are out. And we got two of these wires carrying one kilowatt. Hopefully that's good enough. If, it, if they melt, it's really no big deal because there's nothing to start a fire. We got full sun on all the panels, so I think it's time to plug in the air conditioner and see if this thing will start up. So let's get this air conditioner that we have here outside. That is totally not sturdy, but it's good enough. It's only like a four foot drop, so if I drop it, then gotta buy a new one. So here's the air conditioner, and we're gonna need to cover the window since we don't want any hot air coming in. So you might notice these batteries here. And I have these here because inrush current the inverter needs to power the air conditioner is like 15 to 1600 watts for a few seconds, and the panels can't supply that. So the panels just keep these float charged, and then these basically act like your car battery and start the air conditioner. So let's give us a try. Put it on low, let's hope this works. There we go. That's awesome. Works perfectly. So I'm in a 12 by 15 foot room, the ambient temperature is 73 degrees. So let's leave this running for an hour and see what the temperature is after then. So it's been an hour of it running and one kilowatt hour of batteries is not gonna power this air conditioner for an hour because the voltage will drop too low. So the panels are actually helping a lot because the voltage is still at around 12.5 volts but it's jumping around a lot. And the final temperature is about 70. 100 degrees in the hot end. Wow, it's a cool bunch of hot air coming at me. It's pretty cool. Wow, this thing moves a lot of heat. Let's see how the wires are doing. Ooh, they are warm. Oh man. This one is... <laughs> 
This one turned rubbery already. Oh man. So yeah, these are working great. Best part is there's nothing flammable in sight. So even if the wires do burn, no big deal. Now overall, this is a great experiment, but I don't recommend doing this because I used the cheapest parts I could find and the total cost was around 100 bucks to do this, not including the panels. The panels were 20 each. That was, I've just had them laying around. So while this is a great build for me, I got to a lot of practice doing this. Uh, I can't leave these in the front lawn, so I'm gonna need to find somewhere on the roof to put them. And that means I actually gotta wire it correctly because I can't have any fires. So if anyone has these old solar panels laying around, this is a great thing to do with them. Hook them up to an inverter, a grid tie inverter, plug it into your power, and save some electricity. Also help global warming. Just kidding, our neighborhood already gets our power from solar. Thanks for watching. I know you guys don't really like when I do solar videos, but I have so many of these panels and it'd be a waste to just leave them in the side yard doing nothing. And I've only got about five video ideas right now ready to go. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely comment them. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.